Titan Sports Line with Julia Cox. After getting a win on the road against Wisconsin, a team in one of the Power Five conferences, the Idaho State women's basketball team looked to keep the momentum rolling this afternoon. ISU hosting Denver in Reed Gym to the second quarter. Idaho State trails by five. Bray Newton gets the board, does the pump fake, swings it over to Grace Kenyon, and she knocks down the tray ball. Bengals trail by two. A little bit later, same score. Isabel Vera de Ray gets it to Solaire Grandin, and she gets it into the paint to Kenyon. Kenyon lets traffic pass and hits the pull up jumper. Game is tied at 13. Bengals led 31 19 at the half. To the third, Bengals lead by 10, and it's Kenyon breaking ankles and hitting the long jumper for two. The girl came to play. Bengals lead by 12. To the fourth, Denver really starts chipping away as Haley Semitel hits the long three, cutting ISU's lead to just one point. Later, Denver trails by three now. They get it to some. Samantha Romanowski, and she knocks down the tray ball here, tying the game at 50. So we're going into overtime free basketball. About 15 seconds left in overtime. Bengals trail by two. Denver needs a bucket, and they get it from Jacqueline Poss here. So we're getting more free hoops in the second overtime. Clock is winding down. ISU is down by two. Newton feeds it to Bianca Thacker. And she hits the three with .5 seconds left on the clock. Denver is unable to make anything happen with that time left. And the Bengals win in dramatic fashion, 65-64. to 64. I was just super happy that it went in. I thought it was like going straight over the ring, to be honest. <laughs> she was running out hard, so I just shot it higher and it, it, yeah, it went in. Oh, I knew it was going in. She's such a great shooter. And she, I could see she was further off the line, too. And she always says that she's, she was better when, it, um, when she's further off the line. Because she's from Australia, and they play with the FIBA line. And so I knew it was going in. Those three points were actually Thacker's only points of the game. Head coach Seton Sobolewski said that he brought her in because she is such a good shooter. Having a stellar game was Kenyon. She had a double double, racking up 20 points and 14 boards. ISU had 49 total rebounds, 15 offensive, and 34 defensive. Denver had 39 total. Coach Sobolewski credits the Bengals' defense as part of their big win. I think this game kind of illustrates why we emphasize defense and rebounding. Um, if we hadn't defended as well as we did, if we hadn't rebounded as well as we did, um, we wouldn't have won this game. Now, the last time ISU went into double overtime during during a game was back in 2005 when they lost 91 to 89 against Boise. ISU's next.